The United Kingdom. Uh, it's having an election in May. Both parties are campaigning hard, especially for women voters. The Conservative Party has been accused of ignoring women in the past, so the Labour Party may have a chance to capitalise, as long as they don't make any ridiculous mistakes. The Labour Party has been defending the colour it's chosen for a minibus which is being used in a campaign to try to attract female voters. The Deputy Labour leader, Harriet Harman, has defended the decision to use the colour on the vehicle, already nicknamed the Barbie bus. <laughs> wow. It is a little insulting that you're trying to appeal to adult women voters the same way that Mattel attempts to appeal to eight-year-olds. <laughs> And at least Barbie's pink bus had the good sense to unfold into a sweet hot tub and party den combo. <laughs> that thing was sick. Now, understandably, this bus has been more than a little controversial, with many women in Britain reacting like this. We're politically minded, we can read and we can access information in the way that men or anyone else can. I think the pink bus is a bit patronising. A bit patronising? <laughs> The only way it could be more patronising is if its wheels were giant Nuva rings and they refused to let women drive it. <laughs> now, for, for some reason, instead of apologising, the Labour Party has tried to deny what colour the van is, insisting it was cerise or magenta, <laughs> or trying to avoid the question altogether. And just so we've got it on the record, what colour is this? <sighs> Hots, uh... <laughs> I'll tell you where we got the... I mean, it's like pink, cerise, but I mean, I don't know. People will call this, this colour... Um, it's certainly a version of pink, I would say. I, I think she may have just hit rock bottom. <laughs> you can see her thinking, I got into politics to make a difference, and now I'm on television desperately trying to act like I don't know the colour pink. <laughs> what happened to my life? If this wasn't bad enough, the Labour Party claimed this is all part of an effort to reach out to women and have a conversation about the kitchen table and around the kitchen table, rather than having an economy that just reaches the boardroom table. Yeah, you know women. They want to talk to you where you are. Not in a boardroom, but in a kitchen. <laughs> or, in, or in a baby gap. Or underneath a giant pile of yarn and romance novels. You know, the places you go. Incredibly, the pink bus has still not been discontinued. And at this point, I'm almost glad that Labour is not doing damage control, cos I'm afraid that if they did, it would look like this. Women of the United Kingdom, the Labour Party would like to apologise to you for our wrong-headed pink van campaign. We want you to know that Labour respects you, which is why, this general election, we will focus on the issues that we know matter to you. And that means... Ponies! Look at the pretty pony. It's a very pretty pony, isn't it, women? Like you, Labour cares about this pony. We'll brush its pretty pony hair. And before you get offended, you're right, a pony is not enough. That's why we dress the pony up in a pretty princess outfit. Princess pony! Princess pony! Princess pony! Vote for Labour in May, and if you're very good, we will come to your kitchen and you can pet the pretty princess pony. Oh, don't be scared. She's a nice pony, not a mean pony. Go on, pet the pony. Do it now. Pet the pretty princess pony! <laughs> Labour cares about women's issues, all of them. So when it's time to vote, remember, you love ponies, Labour has a pony. Pony, 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 ponies! Vote Labour.